What scientists discovered in the tundra shocked the whole world? Atari Video Game Burial The Atari Video Game Burial was a mass burial of unsold video game cartridges, consoles, and computers in a New Mexico landfill site, undertaken by the American video game and home computer company Atari Inc. in 1983. In September 1983, the Alamo Gordo Daily News of Alamo Gordo, New Mexico reported in a series of articles that between 10 and 20 semi-trailer truckloads of Atari boxes, cartridges, and systems from an Atari storehouse in El Paso, Texas were crushed and buried at the landfill within the city. Atari's stated reason for the burial was that it was changing from Atari 2600 to Atari 5200 games, but this was later contradicted by a worker who claimed that this was not the case. Atari official Bruce Enton stated that Atari was mostly sending broken and returned material to the Alamo Gordo dump and that it was by and large inoperable stuff. Before 2014, the goods buried were rumored to be unsold copies of E.T. the Extraterrestrial, 1982, one of the largest commercial video game failures and often cited as one of the worst video games ever released and the 1982 Atari 2600 port of Pac-Man, which was commercially successful but critically maligned. Since the burial was first reported, there had been doubts as to its veracity and scope, and it was frequently dismissed as an urban legend. The event became a cultural icon and a reminder of the video game crash of 1983. It was the end result of a disastrous fiscal year, which saw Atari Inc. sold off by its parent company Warner Communications. Though it was believed that millions of copies of E.T. were buried, Atari officials later verified the number to be around 700,000 cartridges of various games including E.T. A Shipwreck Filled With Gold Coins The wreckage of a 500-year-old Portuguese ship filled with gold coins has been unearthed by miners in a Namibian desert. The hull was discovered by diggers from diamond company De Beers and is believed to be worth upwards of 9 million pounds. Archaeologists have confirmed the wreckage is that of Bom Jesus, a ship which set sail from Lisbon in 1533 and disappeared with its entire crew on board near the Namibian diamond mining town of Orangemund on the way to India. The miners alerted geological experts when the ship was discovered in the pit of a drained lagoon, and the gold was found six days into the excavation process among bones and navigational tools. Professor Timothy Insole from Manchester University, who specializes in African archaeology, told that the other items found, including pottery, could prove even more valuable than the gold coins. He said, This is a very significant find, particularly the supporting items like the religious artifacts and clothing, which can give us fascinating insights into what was a very important period of history. As researchers continue to unravel the circumstances surrounding this inexplicable find, a new chapter in the annals of human history may be written. One that holds the key to understanding ancient trade networks, the flow of wealth across continents, and the tales of seafaring adventures lost to time. Horned Kangaroo Skulls The discovery of horned kangaroo skulls in the vast and arid landscape of Australia's Null Arbor Desert a species thought to be extinct for tens of thousands of years has sparked excitement and speculation about the ancient history of the continent and the enigmatic creatures that once roamed its plains. As researchers delve into the mysteries of the Null Arbor Desert and its horned kangaroo inhabitants, a new chapter in Australia's natural history is being written, revealing a world long gone but not forgotten. The unearthing of horned kangaroo skulls in the Null Arbor Desert occurred during a scientific expedition led by a team of paleontologists and archaeologists. While exploring the region's fossil-rich grounds, they stumbled upon a cache of exceptionally well-preserved skulls that bore an unusual feature, prominent sharp horns protruding from the top of the skull. This was an unprecedented find, as no living or known kangaroo species display such a unique physical trait. The horned kangaroo, scientifically known as Procoptodon, was a prehistoric marsupial species that roamed Australia during the Pleistocene epoch, which lasted from approximately 2.5 million to 11,700 years ago. Procoptodon was a giant relative of modern-day kangaroos, reaching up to 2.7 meters tall when standing upright. Its horned skulls, distinctively different from any other marsupial, have piqued the curiosity of scientists and the public alike. Researchers are meticulously studying the skulls, employing state-of-the-art technology such as CT scanning and isotopic analysis to glean insights into the horned kangaroo's physical characteristics, diet, and behavior. Missing Pieces of the Dead Sea Scrolls 
In the rugged and unforgiving terrain near the western shore of the Dead Sea, a groundbreaking archaeological find has rekindled excitement and intrigue among historians and scholars. In a cave aptly named the Cave of Horror, a cache of ancient scrolls has been unearthed, including fragments from the elusive Dead Sea Scrolls, which have been missing for over half a century. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of ancient Jewish texts that date back over two millennia. Discovered in the mid-20th century in various caves near the Dead Sea, these scrolls have provided invaluable insights into the religious beliefs, practices, and daily life of the Jewish communities during the Second Temple period, approximately 530 BCE to 70 CE. Since the initial discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls between 1947 and 1956, scholars have been diligently searching for additional fragments to complete the texts and gain more comprehensive understanding of their content. Among the most sought-after pieces were fragments from the Book of Nehemiah, one of the books of the Hebrew Bible, and other sections that remained elusive until now. Finally, for the first time in 60 years, archaeologists in Israel have discovered new fragments of a Dead Sea Scroll in 2021. According to Haaretz, Ruth Schuster, and Ariel David, the newly discovered bits of parchment appear to be missing sections of a scroll found in the Cave of Horror in 1952. Like the fragments, that scroll bears lines from the Twelve, a book of the Hebrew Bible that contains the writing of twelve minor prophets. Aside from the name of God, which appears in Hebrew, the new scroll fragments are written entirely in Greek. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. Scholars say the find sheds light on the evolution of biblical texts from their earliest forms. The Mysterious Whale Graveyard In 2011, a startling and unprecedented discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community and captured the attention of the world. A vast and ancient whale graveyard was unearthed in the Atacama Desert of Chile, far from any oceanic waters. This extraordinary find, comprising the remains of over 40 prehistoric whales, has offered an invaluable window into the distant past, and a unique opportunity for researchers to unravel the mysteries of these magnificent marine creatures. The revelation of the whale graveyard came about by a fortuitous encounter. While exploring the Atacama Desert for ancient fossils, a group of paleontologists stumbled upon what initially appeared to be a solitary whale skeleton, an unusual sight in a desert environment. However, further examination and excavation revealed an astonishing reality. A vast concentration of fossilized whale remains spread across an area of approximately 4,500 square meters. Researchers studying the whale graveyard surmise that the site might be the result of a mass stranding event, or a group of whales became stranded on a coastal shore millions of years ago. Such events have been known to occur when whales lose their way during migrations, become disoriented, or fall victim to natural disasters. Mysterious Patterns Google Maps images have revealed an array of mysterious structures and patterns etched into the surface of China's Gobi Desert. Rather than street maps of major American cities, or messages to or from aliens, as some media outlets have suggested, experts say they're most likely used by China's spy and radar satellites. This strange grid of randomly zigzagging white lines, which are probably painted onto the land's surface, is most likely used to calibrate China's spy satellites. Jonathan Hill, a research technician at the Mars Space Flight Facility at Arizona State University, who works with images of the Martian surface taken by rovers and satellites, said, Satellite cameras focus on the grid, which measures approximately 0.65 miles wide by 1.15 miles long, and use it to orient themselves in space. But these are nonetheless speculations, and no one knows what they actually are. So that's all for today's video, and until next time, goodbye!